I came to Art for Cancer Foundation about two and a half years ago. Um, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. It was a devastating news for me and my husband and my two young boys. After the third chemo, I felt that I was getting better. It's just that nice blue yeah. that we made. There is this class run by Art for Cancer Foundation. It gave me a chance to forget about that. I was a patient. I was in a fight. I mean, fighting is very exhausting. And I was very sick. So for once, I have this opportunity to come to this very calm and safe place and to let myself just be and just pick up the brush, creating something that I have no idea that I had the talent to do. So that gives me a tremendous opportunity to express, to grieve, and to heal, and to recover. Uh, it was a very leisure class. And then at the last an hour and a half, she said, okay, here's red, blue, and yellow, and just paint. And then I painted my first painting. Actually, is this one, which I'm extremely proud of because after three rounds of chemo, I thought my painting would turn out black and gray. But I remember before I did this, Callie was like, close your eyes, meditate with the color, and then open your eyes and draw how you feel. And this came out. And I felt, oh, I guess I'm hopeful. I still have colors in my life. It's not that bad. And uh, so, yes, this is something that I'm like extremely proud of. The yellow is just going around the center, right? Where we kind of and also, I bring art into my home. Oftentimes, me and my boys, we will just pick up a brush, we'll just pick up some paint, and then paint on canvases, t-shirts, or like just a piece of paper, and which creates a channel like for my kids to express themselves as well. So I do talk to a lot of people when I have a chance um, to talk about how art helped me grieve and how, how it helped me heal and recover and how it turned me into a confident person. That's a wonderful gift that I was given by Art for Cancer Foundation.